One, two, three, Warhawks! Hello, Warhawk fans. I'm Jason Martin, joined here by our head softball coach, Coach Newell. Eric, thanks for joining us today. Yeah, absolutely. My pleasure. Well, we'll jump right into it. You won four straight games to begin the year. That's 11 straight, dating back to last year. What's kind of gone right here to start the season? <laughs> Um, the fact that we didn't lose uh, any seniors from last year helped, uh, and uh, you know we got a good thing going right now. Uh, a lot of senior leadership. Uh, we've got a lot of speed. We got a lot of power. So just things are are looking good at least here on the onset. You mentioned those seniors that you didn't lose. How important is it to kind of have them around? You have about seven or eight seniors this year, mixed in with those freshmen. How important is that leadership in a year like this? Yeah, I mean it's it's extremely important um, we had I said all of our seniors five of our six seniors from last year came back and then we have six what I would call regular seniors so a total really of 11 seniors on this squad and and that senior leadership brings experience it brings kind of the maturity um, the accountability uh, that we strive for I think the older ones uh, model uh, kind of what our program is all about to our younger players and, and you mix that in with some talented younger players and, and you've got a great mix and we've got a lot of key ingredients um, and now it's just a matter of um, when you play the game worm you don't want to run into your own tail and uh, we've got a lot of talented players and uh, I think we have 24 on the roster and, and not enough we need we need to have about 15 or 16 starters uh, but trying to find a lineup of nine it has been tough. So let, let's talk about those younger players that you just mentioned. Last year it was the Atlanta Gobels and the Molly Cobbs of the world. This year you have an even newer cast of characters, namely Gia Martin, Kat Fallon, Brinkley Yevitz con contributed this past weekend against Columbus State. What kind of are your expectations of them going forward and what you've seen so far through four games? Yeah, I mean, uh, you hit it on the head. Last year we had some talented freshmen last year, and, and even uh, Lauren Haskins, who's, who's a great uh, pickup as well with that class with Molly and, and AG. But um, the freshmen this year are, are talented as well, and um, big time get and Kat transferring to us from Sanford, and, and G has been off to a fast start. and. And, and we have high hopes for Brinkley as well. Um, you know, she's got to pitch a couple times so far uh, early on here this spring, and, and we look forward to seeing her mature and develop and become a better and better pitcher each and every day. But you're right, we've, we feel pretty good about the way we've recruited, and, and now it's about gelling and, and continuing to get things done. So we, we've beaten Spring Hill, we've beaten Columbus State now three times. You've had four games before GSC play opens up this weekend against Lee. What are your expectations heading into conference play for the first time in 2021? Yeah, I mean, one game at a time. You're, you're right in the sense that we've only played two opponents, uh, Columbus State uh, and Spring Hill. But uh, to beat a team three times, Columbus State, I think, was preseason number three in the uh, Peach Belt. Uh, and they were tough, and they kept, they kept coming at us. Um, I wish I had about 10 more games under my belt before we open uh, with Lee this coming weekend, uh, but that's just not the case uh, this year. But... It's just one game at a time. We know Lee opened up with a sweep uh, last weekend over Union, uh, so they've already kind of uh, had their whistle wet, so to speak. And um, you know, they're they may be clicking on all cylinders and, and hungry. I think the last couple meetings we've we've won the series over Lee, but you know they're going to be hungry down here to to get us. Um, so we expect a battle, and um, we know we're going to have to show up each and every weekend in the Gulf South to have a chance. Well, Coach, best of luck to you against Lee this weekend. We're Obviously very excited about the direction of the program, and thanks for doing this. Yeah, absolutely. My pleasure. Go Warhawks.